body of Christ to understand who we really are in the kingdom of God. That the kingdom of darkness fears the kingdom of light. That the kingdom of bondage fears the kingdom of freedom. That the kingdom of destruction fears the kingdom of blessing. You are the children of the living God. And everything that moves and breathes has to respond to what you do and you say. Fear and terror and dread will come upon everything. It underscores something for us. Let me help you. It underscores the significant changes from the pre-flood situation to human dominion over all creation. In other words, God said, watch this. What I gave to Adam and Eve was good, but now I'm expanding it. It, it. It's becoming greater. It's involving more. As a matter of fact, it's not just partial. It's not limited, but it's all-inclusive. The dominion I'm giving them is all-inclusive. I'm giving them total dominion. I'm giving them total authority. I'm giving them total power to exercise everything that I put within their grasp. It is all-inclusive. Say that with me. Dominion is all-inclusive. Come on, say it again. Dominion is all-inclusive. And so the dominion of the righteous is marked by fear and dread experienced by the world that is at enmity with God. Why does the enemy fear you? Because you love God. Why does the enemy tre- terror and move in terror and dread when he sees you? Because you love God. And those who love God are, have access to his power. Those who love God have access to his authority. Those who walk in harmony and fellowship with God have access to his dominion dominion in their lives and so the enemy looks at you and terror looks at you and fear looks at you uh, and heartbreak looks at you and destruction looks at you and depression looks at you and oppression looks at you and fear and lack and sickness looks at you and says wait a minute there's a born again believer there's a child of the living God uh, washed in the blood of the lamb uh, that was shed on the cross of Calvary that defeated everything that I stand for and and I have ever right to fear them. The enemy should be afraid and is afraid. God established his kingdom then as superior over every other inferior, inferior kingdom and realm. Let me just tell you something this morning that God is not equal with the devil. They are not equal. They are not equal. It's already a fixed fight. God's power is greater. Uh, God's wisdom is greater. God's sovereignty is greater. God's kingdom is greater. God's dominion is greater. The devil might be able to do some things, but he can't do everything. Uh, We serve the God who can do everything. All things are possible for him who believes. Uh, We serve the God who can do all things. Uh, The devil does not have the power God has. Uh, And it's time for the church uh, of the living God uh, to stand up and be counted and declare that we serve the God who's above all gods. He is the mighty God. He's the awesome God. He's the El Elyon God. Higher than high can possibly be. You can't get any higher than God. No one's greater. No one's mightier. No one's more powerful. No one is more brilliant. No one is awesome like our God. The kingdom of darkness, the kingdom of destruction, the kingdom of devastation, the kingdom of delusion, the kingdom of false teaching, 
See, people would cause you to believe that there's power in Buddha, that there's power in Krishna, that there's power in Islam, that there's power in Taoism and Buddhism and Taoism, that there's power in Scientology. No, let me just put that straight. Let me just put hell on notice. Let me bring everything to absolute clarity. Let me say it succinctly in this house. There is no power greater than the power of our God. They are lacking. They are limited. They are deficient. It is a delusion. It's a sham. It's a fake. It's a hoax. They only walk in that much authority. But there's more authority in your little finger than all of the power of every kingdom of darkness that is prevalent in the earth today because you are a child of the living God and you are a son and a daughter of the most high somebody ought to praise him in here God guaranteed Noah that everything was going to be given into his hand say everything say everything say that means everything say it's all inclusive What he was doing when he said, I give everything into your hands, he was saying this, I assure you of divine security, divine protection, and divine power. Divine security, divine protection, and divine power. That means wherever I go, whenever I operate in the power and the authority of God's kingdom as a child of the living God, as an ambassador, as a representative, as an agent of a heavenly kingdom, when I move in apostolic authority, there's nothing that can stand against me. Demons have to run. Hell has to tremble. Satan has to flee. When I move in the power of the Holy Ghost, nothing can stand in our way. And it's time, child of God, that you begin to understand exactly who you are you have total absolute complete divine authority from on high God established his covenant then with Noah but he began it with Adam it moves into a greater dimension with Noah and then he moves into Abrahamic covenant so we have Adamic covenant, we have Noahic covenant, and now we have Abrahamic covenant. He said, wherever you go, I'll give it to you. Wherever you put your foot, I'll give it to you. Whatever you take authority over, it belongs to you. Somebody ought to put their foot on the ground and say, it's mine. Somebody ought to be able to stomp your foot wherever you go. I don't care where you go. I can go into the darkest recesses of the most dank and dismal denizens of the deep and darkness of the devastation of the demonic powers of the devourer. But as long as I walk in supernatural power, as long as I walk in authority, as long as I walk with dominion feet and authority in my hands there's nothing that the devil can do to me wherever I go he's got to get out of the way they got to clear the road move the roadblocks move the mountains and watch God reduce mountain and raise up valleys for his glory and his power and his kingdom you have divinely empowered feet this morning God began to expand this thing We go from Adam to Noah to Abraham. And then we get into Moses. Oh, the Mosaic Covenant. Moses, go deliver all my people. Get all of Israel out of Egypt. Can I tell you something this morning? God has called you to get all your family out of Egypt. I ain't leaving one behind. Devil, you can't have my children. You can't have my ancestors. You can't have my predecessors. You can't have my progenitory. You will not have my children. You will not have my grandchildren. You will not have my great-grandchildren. You will not have anything that has my bloodline flowing in it until the day Jesus comes breaking through the clouds. I will possess it all. Even if I see it or not from this side of glory, I will possess all of it (laughs) 
And then we move finally into the Davidic covenant. David is made king. Can I tell you something this morning? You and I serve the king of kings. No, I didn't come to tell you this morning you're a king because you're not. That's a lie. Churches teach that all day. Uh, we're kings and priests. No, we're not. We are a kingdom, basileia in Greek. We are a kingdom and priest who serve the living God. I'll help you if you let me. Preachers, listen to me by television. You're not a king. I'm not a king. You want to be a king, go to Burger King and get you a little hat. Quit teaching your people that. It's a lie. There's only one king. The word doesn't say kingsdom. It's not a multiplicity, not a plurality of kings. It is kingdom. One king in dominion over the kingdom that he has dominion over. His name is Jesus. I said his name is Jesus. I said his name is Jesus. Anybody know my Jesus? Anybody love my Jesus? Anybody glad about my Jesus? If you know him, you're glad about him and you love him, you ought to give him a praise right now. No, you have dominion as a priest who serves the king in a realm of authority called a kingdom on earth. Got to go back to last week. That kingdom, some of you were here. That kingdom, some of you making like you were here. That kingdom, that's good. Don't, you, don't want nobody know if you do this. Come on. That kingdom, that will be on as it God's kingdom has come to this earth and you have authority to walk on everything that God said you could walk on you could have everything that God said you could have and I don't care what the devil has stolen under the Davidic covenant the Bible teaches us that we can recover it all When David was hanging out in the Philistine territory in a place called Ziklag, he went off on a journey and on a mission. And the Bible says that the stinking, lousy, dirty, filthy, ugly, nasty Amalekites, those jokers showed up. And they raided Ziklag and they took David's wives. It's one thing if he takes your wife, but he takes your wives, plural, you know somebody's going to get mad. And concubines. And some of the men are going, can we go back to the Old Testament? Children. Money. Valuables. Treasures. Amalekites came in and ripped everything off. David came back from the journey, back from the battle, having been victorious somewhere else. And he walks into town and everything is vacant. It's a ghost town. David walks in, where is everybody at? Where's my boo at? Where's my booze at? And one little old scruffy little... Skin flint of a girl that nobody wanted. She run up David. She said, oh, they all gone. I asked them to take me. They didn't want me. They... Somebody shout, that ain't me. Amen. And the Bible says David got angry. Oh, God. I said, the Bible said David got angry. He got incensed. It's time for the body of Christ to get angry. It's time for the body of Christ to get incensed. It's time for you to get a holy fire that said we ain't letting the devil take one more thing. Not one more right. Not one more biblical principle. Not one more edict from God. You're not taking the Ten Commandments out of this nation. You're not taking the Ten Commandments out of our institutional governmental building. You're not going to rip out prayer in school again. We're going to go back and take it all. 
we're going to recover it all because the Bible says that David went after those nasty Amalekites and he found them and he beat them and he slew them hip and thigh and he destroyed them and he killed them and he wiped them out and the Bible says that David recovered it all. Oh God, he didn't leave nothing behind. He got it. It was all inclusive, all inclusive. God's telling you today, my children, get up, stand up, rise up. It's time to take back everything that the devil has taken from you. Your health, your finances, your mind, your spirit, your understanding, your revelation, your peace, your power, ah, the sanctity of your home. It's time to take it all back. Shout, I want it all back. I want it all back. Come on, shout it. I want it all back. Say, I have dominion. Take your seat for one minute. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm fixing the clothes. I'm I didn't say I was closed, and I said I'm fixing the clothes. I'm getting ready to close. Noah, Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, David. All covenants that grow in agreement progressively richer in promise until the coming of Christ. Who comes in the fullness, the, the, the fullness of covenant agreement. When he stretched out his arms, lifted his voice and shouted, it's finished. He was saying, I did it all. There's nothing left to do anymore. Can I just tell you something? It's already done. It's already done. All you need to do is go get it. I said all you need to do is go get it. You don't need to do anything but go get it. It's all covenant for it's done. It's finished. It, there's nothing left for you to do but go get it he said now go occupy till I come now, that word occupy doesn't mean to sit on your blessed assurance it means to put to work occupy until I come because I've already done the work that needed to be done and now I'm seated at the right hand of the father in full covenant completion of what I came to do it's finished now I'm just interceding for you so that you can go ahead and do what I told you to do it's time to take dominion It's still God's plan to have a people created in His image, listen, who will break the cycle of chaos and take dominion. That's what Noah was told to do. Now go and break the cycle of chaos and take dominion. Well, I just came to tell you this morning that the cycle has been broken in the spirit because Jesus broke it. That's why no weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. That's why there's no curse that can come upon your life. Don't you let, don't you ever let anybody tell you and teach you and indoctrinate you that you're under a generational curse. That is a lie from the pit of hell. Every curse has been broken by Jesus Christ. Galatians 3 and 13 says he broke every curse. The unbeliever is under a curse. You're not. You're the generation of those who love him. Anybody love him this morning? 
Oh, I could do better in some other house. Anybody love him this morning? Anybody love him this morning? If you love him, I want you to clap your hands, open your mouth, stand on your feet, and give him a holy praise right now. Stay standing. God is enlarging the covenant grant, allowing you to have dominion over what you didn't think you could have until right now. I just came to tell you in these closing moments that the devil's been lying to you. Well, it, it, it's only natural that he should do that. Jesus said he's a liar. He's a father of lies. It's his native language. He don't even know how to tell the truth. The devil's been lying to you. I don't like people who lie to me. The devil's been lying to you. I'm going to say it again because some of you need to hear it. The devil has been lying to you. He said, I've taken everything from you and you ain't getting it back. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. He's been lying to you, telling you that you can't have back what he took from you. Well, let me just put him on notice and put you into agreement with covenant understanding. He cannot have anything that he's ever put his dirty, filthy hands on. You have a right to take everything back because you've been given all inclusive dominion and it's time for you child of God to begin to exercise your all inclusive dominion the devil has lied to you but I came in the name and in the power and the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ to tell you the truth this morning you have Dominion, shout this morning. Now. Now is the time for you. Now is the time for every other believer to rise up and reclaim every single thing the devil told you was restricted and exempt. God said everything. God said all of it. God said every thing. Come on. He said. Come on. Your health. Your finances. Your money. Your prosperity, your progenitory, everything that God has ever given you belongs to you. It doesn't belong to the enemy. Now go get it in Jesus' name. Shout everything now. Now, shout now, shout now, shout now. Everything changes, everything shifts, everything transitions. Nothing will ever be the same after today. In the name of Jesus, I said, In the name of Jesus, I said, In the name of Jesus. Jesus. The son of the living God. The the Lord of glory. The first and the last. The Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. The bright and the morning star. The lily of the valley. The shepherd of his sheep. The fairest of 10,000 to my soul. The son of God. The first and the last. The son of David. The Messiah. The Christos. The Mashiach of God. That name. There's authority in that name. And you have it. I said you have it. It's time to use it. If you're going to take dominion even today, go ahead and shout dominion. Shout dominion. Shout dominion. 
the devil's defeated we're victorious and it's time to move forward in the name of the living God somebody ought to give him a praise right now Jesus you're my firm foundation come on let's